Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So I'm going to show you how to make that poncho that you just seen in the picture. Um, it's the one size fits most poncho and it's a scrap yarn poncho. So if you got a lot of scraps laying around, this would be a good um, project for you. But you don't have to make it with scraps. You can make it like a solid collar if you want. It's going to be pretty no matter what. Now this is a great beginner project. It's really, really easy. So if you're fairly new to crochet and you know the basic stitches like single and double, you'll be able to make this poncho. So what I used is scraps. I used all the scraps of Red Heart Super Saver that I had. And it is a four ply, 100% acrylic, medium weight. Now you can use scraps of all different, if you wanna use uh, acrylic and cotton mixed, uh, fur yarn, whatever you have, make it unique to your own, or just make it any solid color, what, you know, however you wanna do it. But um, I can't give you exact amount of yarn that you're going to need but since I did use scraps. But I'm going to guess, and this is a guess, with the fringe, if you want to add the fringe, is it going to be probably in the range of 12 to 1500 yards. So uh, I also use a size J, which is a 6 millimeter crochet hook. Now you want to start off with a chain of 84. Now once you get your chain of 84 done, you want to follow it down without twisting your chain. And we're going to slip stitch into the very first stitch to form one large ring. So go right into that first stitch and slip stitch. Just like that. Now I'm going to chain one. And now I'm going to go right back into that same spot that I slip stitched into and single crochet. And now I'm going to work along my chain, putting one single crochet in every single stitch until I make it back around to my starting point. Just like this one single in every stitch until you get back to the beginning. And when you get back to the beginning, you should have a total of 84 single crochets. That does not count that chain one we did. Just 84 single crochets when you get back around. Okay, once you make it back around, at the end of round one and you count it and you have 84 stitches, not counting that chain one, what you want to do is slip stitch into your first single crochet. Not the chain one, but the first single crochet. So go ahead and slip stitch into that. And I'm going to tie this off. When I do color changes, I always tie off. Now, if you've been taught not to tie off, you can just color change here however uh, you've been taught to do. Or if you're making it one solid color, you don't even need to tie off here. But I'm going to tie off here, just like that. And now I'm going to start a new color. Let me grab one here. And I'm going to start into that same spot that I just slip, I just slip stitched into and tied off. Now this is a four point poncho. There's going to be two points in the front and two points along Two, one point in the front and one point in the back, I'm sorry, and one point along each arm. Now, the point in the front and the point in the back are going to be sharper. And what I mean by that is they're going to come down more out of, at an angle than the ones on the side. So, I'll show you how we're going to do that. So, go ahead and start your yarn into that very first stitch in chain one. That stitch that we just slip stitched into. Now we're going to work in that same stitch, we're going to work two double crochets. So there's one, two, and then we're going to chain two, and then we're going to go back into the same stitch and work two more double crochets. So that is going to be our first point, and it's going to be either one, it's going to be the sharp point, one that's going to be on the front or the back. Now I'm going to put one double crochet in the next 20 stitches. And you want to slide this over because you don't want to forget this stitch. Sometimes when you do these points, 
that stitch gets hidden, hidden and you go directly to this one. You don't want to do that or it's not going to work out. So slide these back and put one double crochet in that stitch and you want to do so that counts as number one you want to do 20 in a row so the next one will be number two and three four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I've done 20 double crochets in a row and that's not counting this first point here. So there's 20 there. Now what we're gonna do is make the another point, a side point. Now this one's not gonna be quite as sharp, so it's not gonna go down on your arm quite as much as the front and the back is going to go on the front or along your chest. So what we're going to do for this point is we're going to go into the next stitch and we're going to put one double crochet, a chain wool, chain two, I'm sorry, and one more double crochet. So that's the side points. So the front and back points are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in the same stitch. And the two side ones are one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet in the same stitch. So that's the only difference. Now we're going to start off and we're going to put one double crochet into the next 20 stitches again. So start off with the first one. So that's one, two, three, Four, five. Okay, I've done 20 double crochets in a row again. And now I'm gonna make one of my sharper points. So in the next stitch, I'm gonna put two double crochets, a chain of two, and two double crochets. Again, all in the same stitch. So there's one, two, and then I'm gonna chain two and put two more double crochets into that stitch. Just like that. Now again, I'm gonna put one double crochet into the next 20 stitches. Remember to pull this back so you get the, you get the right one. Don't wanna miss it. So one double crochet into the next 20 stitches. There's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I did my 20 uh, double crochets in a row again, and now I'm gonna do the side point. So in the next stitch, it's just gonna be one double crochet, a chain of two, and then another double crochet into that same stitch. Now you should have 20 stitches that remain go ahead and put one double crochet in the remaining 20 stitches. Okay, once you make it back to the beginning, what you should have 92 stitches now and then four chain two spaces. So what you want to do to end a round two is slip stitch into your first double crochet. Not the chain one, but the first double crochet. Now, I'm going to tie off and change colors here. Now, if you're doing it solid, what you'd want to do is slip stitch until you get to your chain two space. So you'd slip stitch there, slip stitch one more time, and then you'd slip stitch into your chain two space. But since I'm doing mine a different color every row, I'm gonna tie off here, and I'm gonna start a new color. So let's see what I can find now. I just got some lot of scraps laying around. So we'll go with this yellow one next. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my yarn 
this is what it kind of looks like here the sharper points you can see would be like the back and the front this goes along the front of you and this would go along the back and these two short sides are going to go along the sleeves so that's what it starts to look like it folds up like that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start now every round now is a repeat of this round that we're getting ready to do so we're just going to start our yarn every time into the chain two space or if you're making it solid you slip stitch over to the chain two space so i'm just going to start my next color and i'm going to chain one every time and i'm going to go back in and i'm going to do two double crochets a chain of two and two more doubles so i'm putting that sharper point right here at the beginning every time and now I'm going to work one double crochet in every single stitch until I get to my next chain two space. So make sure you're getting this very first one. Sometimes he hides, sometimes he doesn't. But one double in every stitch until you get to your next chain two space. Okay, I've made it to my next chain two space, and you can see that this is the point that's going to go on the side. It's not the sharp one. So it's just going to be right through the chain two space, one double, a chain two, and then another double. Just like that. Now I'm going to start again, putting one double crochet in every stitch until I reach my next point or my next chain two space. until I make it over here. One double in every stitch. Okay, I've made it to my next chain two space and this one is the sharper one. You can see it's got the two doubles, a chain two and two doubles. So that's what we need to put in this chain two space. Right through the space, two doubles, a chain of two, and then two more double crochets. Now again, we're going to start working one double crochet in every stitch <clears throat> until we get to our next point or the next chain two space. One double all the way till we get over to here. Okay, I've made it to my next point and this is just the side point. It's not very sharp, so it's it's the one double, chain two, one double. So that's what we need to put in this space. One double crochet, chain of two, and then one more double crochet, all into that chain two space. And now I'm gonna finish off by putting one double crochet in every stitch until I get back to the beginning. Okay, when coming to the end here, you have to look and be careful here. You have to make sure you get these two stitches, that you put your double crochet in these two stitches. Sometimes they're hard to see, but right here, it's where you uh, slip stitched and ended the round before. And sometimes it's hard to see, sometimes it's not, but I just want to make you aware that sometimes it might be kind of hard to see. That one, and that one. And now we're going to end with the slip stitch into our first double crochet, not the chain one. Now, from now on, it's just a repeat of that round. <clears throat> so I'm going to tie this off. Now, it's just, like I said, it's just a repeat of round three. So tie off and you start again with your next color in this chain two space. If you're making it solid, you just slip stitch over to your chain two space and then start again. But every round now is going to get a little bit bigger. You're going to have a lot of tails to hide, but that's okay. But that's what it starts to look like. 
and every round will get a little bit bigger. At the end of each round, you'll have 12 more stitches than you did the round before. So we have, we had um, 92 on round two, round three, we have 104. And then the next one, we'll have 12 more. And then the next one, 12 more than that. So it's always 12 more than the round before. And you can make this as long as you want your poncho to be. Okay, I went ahead and did, counting this very first row of single crochet, I did 24 rows all together. So all the way down. So this was number one, two, three, four, all the way down to 24. Now you can make the length as long as you want. That's completely up to you. You can make it longer if you wish. But now I'm going to go around the neck here with a row of single crochet just to clean it up. So I got the back side of my work facing me. Now you remember where we put uh, two double crochets, a chain two and two double crochets. That's the front and the back points. So this is where I started earlier. This is the back facing me with the point that's a little sharp than we talked about right here. So what I'm going to do is just start in any one of these single crochets up here. Doesn't matter which one. It's somewhere around the back, so it seems not so visible, you know, when you're wearing it. And I'm going to start my yarn by chaining one. And then I'm going to go back into that same stitch and single crochet. And now all I'm going to do is work around putting one single crochet in every single stitch until I get back around to the beginning. So just like this. And all this is doing is just cleaning up that top edge there around the neck so it don't look unfinished. And when you get to this point here, there's no difference. You just continue putting one single crochet in every stitch. Don't go down into the point or anything. Just work right around and put one single crochet in every stitch of that first row that we did. This first row of single crochet. And I'm going to do that until I get all the way back around to where I started. All the way back around to here. Okay, when you make it back around to the beginning, you should have a total of 84 single crochets. If you don't have that number, you know, as long as it's somewhere close to that, don't worry about it. It's not that big of a deal. It does not have to be perfect. So once you make it back around, you want to slip stitch into your first single crochet. Not this chain one here, but this first single crochet. Just go ahead and slip stitch into it. And then pull your yarn and then we'll tie that off and clip our yarn. And that's it. Now, if you want to add fringe, I can show you how to do that. I added fringe on mine. Now, I know some people don't like fringe. So, if you want to be done now, that's completely up to you. Or, you know, you could add uh, tassels or pom-poms or, you know, something like that. You know, be, you could be creative however you want to do it. But I'll show you how I went ahead and added some fringe. So, what I did was... Okay, what I did was... I just used all the colors that I used in my poncho and I cut off pieces that were approximately two feet long. Now you can make your fringe longer or shorter. I mean, I trimmed mine up a bit too when I was done. But what I did is I used three pieces, no particular colors, I just any three colors. And then what you do to add the fringe is you take your three pieces and you go through a stitch at the bottom here and pull them through like that and drop it your hook 
and grab it with your fingers. Now make sure these down here are equal down here in length. They're pretty close like that. And now all you do is take them and pull them through your big hoop and pull them tight like that. And then I know they're really long and you can trim them up as desired. I left mine a little longer but a lot of know you can do yours however short or however long you want. So and then I skipped one stitch and then I worked into the next one. So I'll do it again. Stick your hook up from underneath and then pull your yarn, all three pieces from the top of your work. This is the top of my work down. And then drop your hook and grab your loop here. And then make sure your ends are equal in length or pretty close. And then you just pull them all through like that. And then pull it tight. Just like that. And then when you I do that every other stitch and in and in, in all four corners or all four points. That's how I did it. Now some people maybe want to skip a lot more in between. Maybe they want to skip five or you know whatever. Maybe you want to put um eight pieces of yarn and make real thick or real thick fringes. It's completely up to you. I was just showing you how I how I did it. So and then when I was done, I trimmed it up a bit. Uh probably to trim it maybe to down to about 12 inches or so. Um, I got them all equal length so that's how I do the fringe but other than that after you get all your tails hidden that's it. It's actually a really really easy poncho. It's good for beginners and it's a one size fits most so I think I said that in the beginning but that's it. Um, please don't forget to I still got some more fringe to do the back side but please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe to my channel. Um, don't forget to check out all my other tutorials too. I have hundreds and hundreds of tutorials. Um, something for everybody. Beginner, intermediate, advanced. You'll find something for you. Um, um, don't forget to check me out on Facebook too if you make anything. Um, I'd love to see a picture of it. That's where you can post a picture on my Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. Um, also, you can check me out on Instagram see what I got going on there. So I'll put links to all that stuff below. And until next time, have a good day.